Hi friends, it's Karen again. Um, earlier I stopped at Armand restaurant uh, to meet the Red Hats. And of course, it was scheduled for tomorrow, she said, not for today. So I don't know how I got the day wrong. Um, we normally do things on a Saturday, so I'm not really sure what happened. And I don't know if I'm going to get the chance to go out um, on tomorrow if if I'm out today because I have something I had to get done this weekend. So and I, it doesn't look like I'm going to get it. Actually, a couple of things. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get that done. So I might have missed a boat again on that. And because last month, I think I, my car broke down. And the month before that, um, I wind up going to Lafayette with a friend and her family. And the month before that, I think it's something with the weather. And I wound up not going because of that, because it was kind of far. And I was afraid that if they closed that bridge, I wasn't sure how to go the long way to get home. So, well, anyway, it's been one thing after another. But we see about next month. Um, anyway, I'm out in Norco. I'm walking just on a levee system. And um, just taking a walk, getting some fresh air in. I went out to a restaurant in the area since we couldn't go there, and it was called, oh, what was it called? Something about, it was a seafood pot, something like that, and it was okay. Um, I uploaded a video and showed you the food in that one, and then um, the Denver, that was a Cypress tugboat, and I think that was an operation, those type of boats, like for about three centuries. And so that was interesting. Um, and then what else did we do today? Um, oh, there was right in front of where the Denver is, there was um, every Saturday, I think it was like 9 to 12, there was um, there's like a fresh market there you know um i didn't visit it today but that was going on and um they sell like vegetables and fruits and some homemade sewing stuff i've gotten some masks there and i think they sell like aprons pot holders that kind of thing and um it's small it's not that big i've been there only one time and so um I was going to hit it. They had music there, live music, but I didn't, you know, by the time I got finished doing what I was doing, it was um, shutting down for the evening. They got like a little trail. I don't know where this is going. I wonder if we should try it. There's not really anybody out here. There's a man with some, an elderly man with two dogs going out that way. And I'm in the area, Narco, I'm not really too familiar with haven't been here before and this is the little trail should we take a chance and go down um I might go down a little ways and see what happens but I got my rain boots on looks like it's wet here so that was how I spent my Saturday we're in December and it is hot <laughs> it is hot you don't even need a light sweater um the bugs are already chirping, but it, it's probably getting to be late afternoon now. And um, got a little wooded area right here. So I might go down here just a little ways to see. They said there's a spillway. And people come out here and fish and stuff. And a bike trail, but I think that's the bike trail we were on. And it goes for miles. But I wasn't sure what they were talking about the spillway. But it's near here. Um, so this might be it, walking up to it. So we'll see. Well, I get my exercise on a Saturday. I don't really get too much of exercise during the week. But I try to get out and do something in the, the fresh air. Because it's so relaxing. And listening to these bug sounds, it's really nice. It just kind of kind of um, relaxes me a bit. And there's some birds chirping, things like that. So, 
so um, I don't think I'm going to get lost. I have a habit of getting lost, but I don't think I will this time because it's a, you know, it's a pretty obvious trail. It's amazing how fast I can get turned around. And let's see. Um, I wonder if we're close to the end. It's birds in the background. They had a cute little grocery store. It was an interesting building. Here it looks like some water right here. A little bayou area. Guess that would be a fishing spot. It looks like there's a bridge in the distance. And it looks like there's water up ahead and it must end there. I don't know if that's the spillway, but perhaps it is. Never been. I've always heard about it. I remember years ago I had a co-worker that her boyfriend lived out in Narco and she used to come out here and visit him. And she said the only thing they really had out here was the spillway. And you could go fishing, ride your bike, that kind of thing. And um, hiking, if you wanted to hike on one of the trails. And she said, there's not much else. And that was years ago. And I was driving through the little small town. And it doesn't really look like it's anything out here either. But, you know, houses. I don't even see a lot of rest restaurants or anything. But I guess they must have a few. This must be the spillway. So we're up close to it now. Because I wasn't sure to go right or to go left. So it looks like we went in the right direction to see it. This has got to be it. So people must come out here and fish. I've been fishing before like maybe once. Maybe twice. I don't know too much about it. But it was kind of fun. And... Let's see if we can get up a little closer to the water, and I'll show you the water. So, I bet kids like coming out here, you know, fishing and tossing some rocks and just, you know, exploring and trying the different, you know, paths. And things like that. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to like going into um, different places. Like if it was a wooded area. Back those days, it was kind of safe. You didn't really have to worry too much. I mean, I'm sure things happened, but not that we, I don't remember really hearing about it as much. It must have, but I just didn't um, hear about it as much. I try to be careful as much as I can. And there's um, a bird. Oh, yeah, it's gliding. Let's see if I can get him in. Something's over there gliding. Might even be an airplane. I'm thinking it's a bird. And there's one dark cloud. It was supposed to be a rainy day today, but that is an airplane. It's not a bird. Um, you can tell I don't have my glasses on. I'm nearsighted. And so, um, it's just a really pretty day hot for December. Very hot. And I got long sleeves on. But that's okay. Um, and it's just, you know, a different part of town. Just coming out, taking a look. Um, seeing what's going on. That kind of thing. And I, you know, I hope you had some fun. And, and seeing, you know, just a little wooded area. I love seeing different um, wooded areas in different parts of the country. I find it interesting. But I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to wrap this up. Bye.